Um, we had fun. I mean, we the cast was great. Uh, Swirl Films, as always, lands the plane. Um, TV One stepped up, showed up, and showed out. We had a blast. And um, when George Pierre, um, the cast director, reached out about it, I was like, yeah, are you kidding me? I get to play a stalker? I've been dreaming about this. <laughs> So, you know, not because I'm, I'm never, certain things you're never going to do in real life. I'm never going to rob a bank. I'm never going to stalk people. But to get to do it and get to do it with a great group of people, with a great production company, with a great network and cast and everything in front of the camera, hell yeah, I'm pulling up. So it, it was amazing. We had a, we had a great time. Um, we, had, we had a really good time. And, and it was fun playing such a character. <laughs> Anytime Swirl Films contacts me about anything, it's usually always something intriguing and witty and, and 2024, 2025, you know, futuristic kind of where we want to shift the, the narrative and switch, you know, shift the conversation to. Um, and I love that um, because they're also, you know, the same production company that's done Saints and Sinners for six seasons. Um, and our final season, I believe, is is it aired tonight, didn't it? Correct. Yeah, Correct. but been working with them for a long time, so I know if they reach out, it's not you know anything lightweight. It's not anything that's less than substantial, and so uh, th those things excite me. These things excite me. Um, the fact that they would entrust a film like this to me and to us is is. Definitely an, an honorable thing. Um, it's a lot going on work-wise, so I'm just I'm I'm happy to be. You know, this ain't all about me, so I'm happy to be working consistently on consistent and classy projects. And uh, trust and believe, if if they call a TV one call, I'm answering, and we are gonna make something else great. And I just I think he might have lived. I think <laughs> I think if Michael Myers can keep getting up, I think Damon can take a knife in the back. And I think we might need to discuss a stalker too. I'm just saying. I'm just you ain't. I ain't want to gossip. You ain't heard it from me. Um, I did. I did quite a bit actually. I watched some documentaries on stalkers. Um, I please don't judge me. Um, I I followed some people through the shopping mall and through grocery stores. I'm not playing. Like it's. Do you know how hard it is? To, to hide behind vegetables and follow somebody for 20 minutes and not get caught? Do you know how difficult that is? And, and just to get in that space, so just for the subtle nature of it, um, and watch some documentaries and, some, and a couple films on you know, people that, that stalked people, just to lend some truth to it. Um, please don't call the police or tell them that I, I hope that woman that I've, or those couple people that I stalked don't see this, but yeah. Um, yeah, I, I took it serious. It was, it was fun. Oh, and then Meta, she, I did wait outside her trailer a couple times <laughs> and, and I was just sitting there and then she walked out and she, oh, she said, Christian, stop. I was like, it's, it's research, it's research. <laughs> But she made me quit, so you know, and I, I want no harassment charges. But um, the work was put in. The work was put in. The script was done. It was already the writing was del delicious. So it was it was fun to do something that I would never do in real life. It was it was a treat.